Okay, I'm assuming I'm not alone in this question. What is VVC? On some of our other videos in the comments, we've had questions about shims and shim stacks. Is that the same thing as valves and how's that related to VVC? It's all kind of a, a mess in my yeah. mind right now. Valve is the more generally accepted term for- But that's what people call shims. synonymous, valve and shim? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and VVC is a way of it's very similar to adding or subtracting valves. Uh, it's a much smoother, better way of doing high speed adjustment than has been done in the past. So normally like in really, really high end applications, you don't change more than a couple clicks on anything before you take it all apart and revalve it. So obviously that's not really something feasible with bike suspension. So we've come up with pretty clever ways of getting very close to that feeling. Without having to do it. Nice. And this is completely different than any other adjuster that I've ever seen. I mean, we hold a patent to it. I don't think anybody else has come close. So you took some video for us with the new 38, is that what you were working with? That was a 38 damper, yeah. Cool, so you tore that apart and they're gonna run through some of the the nitty gritty and show us the inner workings of that. I hope so, yeah. I don't know how good a job I did of it. I was so frustrated trying to film that stuff. Oh, really? <laughs> not, not, it's just not what I do. So learning how yeah. to like look through yeah. your viewfinder and hold your hands on the other side. and. Well, we, uh, we appreciate you being both videographer and team manager and YouTube personality through all of this. <laughs> so. I guess it's good to diverge your your talents in this day and age when i'm just sitting at home in the backyard <laughs> yeah totally <laughs> all kinds of new skills I've, I've heard uh rumors of you becoming a mixologist even oh yeah <laughs> loving my i can't do many more of those though i've got to clean my act up a little bit <laughs> it's times like this when you sit in the chair and you're like oh man That's yeah new. Dude, the, the quarantine 15 is real. <laughs> it's so true. We appreciate you filming that stuff and going outside of your norm to, to share that info with us. For sure. I'm stoked to do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut to that now and go to some of the, the detailed explanation of VVC right here. So I've got a 38 Grip 2 cartridge here. And we're gonna pull it apart into its three kind of sub-assemblies, the big assemblies, and uh, kind of run through what each one does. So, this is your damper shaft, your seal head, and your rebound piston. This is a high-speed, low-speed adjustable rebound. So the big knob is your high speed. The little knob is your low speed. And really all low speed does is shuts an orifice. So this screw is turning a long rod that goes down into the bottom. There's a little needle point and it's opening or closing the amount of flow that goes through that hole. Very simple, sort of. The next one is your high-speed rebound. And in most products, high-speed rebound functions by putting preload on the outside of a valve stack. In all of our testing, we found out that that's not really ideal. It tends to add a bit of harshness. Um, it's like preloading anything on springs. You try not to preload them for ride quality. Air springs, you always have a negative spring to counter that. and on valve stacks, we find that preload doesn't work either. So some of the really smart people came up with something called VVC. So try to get you a slightly closer look at what this VVC thing does. Here's the little wing that's actually the spring that you're acting on. Here's the ridge that's changing the position on this piece to change the amount of leverage 
for the valve stack. So as it sits right now, the edge is really far in. So it doesn't have much leverage, so it makes it feel like it's very firm. Then when I open up high speed rebound, you can see now it's resting out on the edge and it has quite a bit more leverage, makes it feel like it's a lighter valve tune. Pretty simple really, but makes a massive difference in ride feel and range of adjustability. So I'll pull this little uh, rebound piston apart and give you a slightly better look at what's going on inside there. Can spin this little hat off and underneath this, you get to the high speed rebound. This is the little wing that is the main part of the VVC. This acts as a secondary valve. And this is what changes the amount of force it takes to open that valve. If you see this ridge here, how it moves from the inside to the outside. If you're trying to push on that little hat, you have this spring in here. It's much harder to push on the spring when it's being acted on the inside as opposed to when your rebound's wide open. Now your rebound's wide open and this ridge is pushing on the outside. So it makes it far easier to open your rebound. The other thing we can talk about is the compression assembly. And for the first time ever, VVC is being used on the compression side as well. It's a little bit harder to see on this one. And again, your low speed compression, it's the one in the middle, is just turning a rod, runs down the middle of this, and works through this little hole in the middle. That's low speed. High speed, is this little wing here. That's your VVC. And that, all it's doing again is changing the fulcrum point of this little wing so that it makes it feel like there's more valves and firmer compression damping. Does that make sense? I hope so.